welcome back to another episode of Prefab Fam. I am going to film this and drive for a little bit and see if I can pull this off. We'll see. Maybe not. But, you know, I can always give it a try and also, um, taking a nap in the back seat super grateful for that because we have like an hour drive ahead of us um, so something fun about doing foster care in rural communities is that you don't always get a kiddo from your county so our kiddo is actually from a different county than we live in so we have to travel to do her visits with her bio parents and stuff it's a lot of driving and a lot of time spent in this big old van <laughs> anyways that's what we're doing today we're on our way home um, we're killing the environment one foster child at a time. <laughs> yes, yeah. As Chad put it, we're killing the environment one foster child at a time. So I've seen this ironing board at Bullet Bob's for forever, and I think it's so pretty. It's just like this old kind of vintage-y styled ironing board. Um, and it still has like the little vintage um, advertisement on it for the specific ironing board that it is as well. And so I've wanted to get it for forever. I have this spot in my house that has like a bunch of wires and the Wi-Fi box and it's just kind of gross looking and I've had them in baskets. Um, but I still wanted something that would detract a little bit from the wires because the baskets hide it pretty well, but they just, it's just not a good enough job. So I want to see if I can take this ironing board and make it into a little bench to hide all of the wires and to kind of like draw your eye upwards a little bit and away from the, the mess that's underneath, honestly. The first thing that I need to do is thrift shopping. Get in, loser. We're going to the thrift store. Just kidding. That wasn't the right quote. Okay. Get in, loser. We're going thrift shopping. myself because there was so much of it but <laughs> the truth is I just simply was not strong enough I'm just um, not ashamed at all to say that I needed my husband to help me out with this so my first step is to level and make sure that I have a straight line where I'm gonna be cutting this I'm a little nervous about but this is the part where um, I'm gonna cut the board by myself. I think I know what I'm doing. You gave me one kind of. Oh, with what? With the circular saw. <laughs> what are you staring at me for? <laughs> okay, my husband is just like staring at me. He's <laughs> just staring daggers. We actually got my husband some new tools I'm super excited about. Sorry, I have to grab them. Oh my cow, this is heavy. Okay, so um, I got my husband these tools. Don't worry, there's no battery in this right now, so I can't even turn on, um, which is why I'm not really being too careful about the way I'm holding it. I got them off Amazon and I'm just super excited. I got them for his birthday. And I decided after I got them that it was time for me to learn how to do this, so. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's do so I'm gonna get the battery. Um, it's in a screwdriver from earlier today. Trial by fire. Maybe I should just like do something like this first, like a, a scrap piece of wood just to make sure that I can do this. Okay, so let's just move that way over here. Okay. Can you tell I'm nervous? I'm a little nervous. I've literally never done this before. Okay, 
take the safety all the way back and balance the blade. Oh no. I'm sure this is resting on here. How do you lock the safety into place? This is the part where I spent 20 minutes trying to find the safety guard instructions only to find out that they don't exist because basically the guard moves as you cut through the wood. So let's all just have a nice laugh at this montage. <laughs> Okay, so apparently the blade guard will just like magically come up when I start cutting this. So, oh my gosh. Okay, it doesn't, oh, does it just like move? how to get the safety guard out of the way when I didn't even need to oh my gosh okay second of all look look it didn't cut all the way through because but that's like a millimeter off you guys oh my gosh and I could just like do this to it if I needed to this is scrap wood obviously this doesn't matter I freaking did it okay we're in business okay 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 this channel lock I think that's what our old vice groups and locking it onto the screw in the table leg and I'm just Alrighty, so <clears throat> everybody has sat down to dinner and I'm just gonna finish up this DIY real quick so I can go eat. So my plan is just to the ground that's more than I expected uh, kind of this one might be a little kind of felt That's it for this video guys. Have an awesome week and let me know in the comments what you thought about our ironing board makeover. 